video, we're going to talk about de Moivre's theorem, which states, if the polar form of a complex number is z equals r times cosine theta plus i sine theta, then for positive integers n, z to the n is equal to r times cosine theta plus i sine theta all to the exponent of n, or r to the exponent of n times cosine n theta plus i sine n theta. So let's do an example to work through this theorem. So we're asked to find 4 plus 4i quantity to the 6th power. So first we have this in rectangular form. So we first need to express in polar form. So to do this, use r equals a squared plus b squared, which is 4 squared plus 4 squared, which is the square root of 16 plus 16, which is the square root of 32, which simplifies to 4 square root of 2. And theta is equal to the inverse tangent of b over a, which is e equal to the inverse tangent of 4 over 4, which is equal to pi over 4. So the equation in polar form is 4 square root of 2 cosine pi of f over 4 plus i sine of pi over 4. For a detailed instruction of this, refer to the complex numbers in polar form video. So now that we have this in polar form, we can plug this back into the original expression given. So that will mean that this is the sixth exponent. So now you redistribute the exponent using the theorem. So this means our r value will be to the integer of n, and in this case 6 is our n, so it will be to the 6 times cosine, and it says n times theta, so 6 times our pi over 4, plus i times sine, and then again n theta, so 6 times pi over 4. Now we can simplify. So 4 square root of 2 to the 6th power is 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. Cosine of 6 pi over 4 simplifies to cosine of 3 pi over 2, and that is plus i sine of 3 pi over 2. So now we can solve cosine 3 pi over 2, which this is equal to 0, and i sine 3 pi over 2, so the sine 3 pi over 2 is equal to 1. So now we will have thirty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-eight times 0 minus 1i. So then you distribute the 32,768 to get negative 32,768i.